of storage. It was a bomb designed to kill as many police officers as possible, but incredibly, people walked and drove past the van containing the mortar bomb device. The police have defended their handling of the incident in Katy, saying the blame should be targeted at the dissident terrorists behind the attack. Sharon O'Neill's report opens with an exclusive photo of the deadly bomb trap. Squeezing past a van abandoned in the middle of a road, but these drivers were oblivious to the deadly threat inside. So too was the woman on the left. She's casually walking along the pavement just yards from the bomb. A mortar hidden from sight is ready to go off. Our exclusive pictures show that those intent on murder didn't care who was in their path. The mayor of Armagh was one of those who drove past the bomb in the centre of Kitty. Those responsible for leaving this device here were irresponsible. People who were driving up one side of it while school buses were coming down the other. People could have been killed. Kitty may be back to normal, but there's a lot of fear here. Had the bomb gone off, it would have caused injury or even death. Families and pensioners I've spoken to who live on this road where the bomb was abandoned simply don't feel safe in their own homes anymore. I had that for years in the, in the 70s and I really don't want to go back to that anymore because I just couldn't come through it again. And what do you think of the people who just abandoned the bomb there? Well, I think it's... We've had enough. We don't need that in this town. It's a quiet town and all we want is a bit of peace. What could do without that, you know, without everything was settled? I think it's ridiculous. There's not no call for that in a town like this at all or any other town. It's disgraceful. At exactly 6.21 on Friday morning, police received a call that a car had been abandoned outside Katy Police Station. Police say they started to evacuate homes at 8 o'clock, but some residents we spoke to said it was much later. The bomb was made safe, but the operation continued over the weekend and families were only allowed to return to their homes on Sunday afternoon. Nationalist politicians have been highly critical of the police operation, saying residents should have been moved out much earlier and that the bomb scene should have been immediately sealed off. Chief Superintendent Alistair Robinson hit back at criticism over the police operation. He said place blame where it belongs, with those who planted the device. He said the target may have been the police, but it was obvious that those criminals did not care who they killed or injured. This is the latest in a series of dissident Republican attacks. In January, Constable Patter Heffron was critically injured when a bomb exploded underneath his car near Randallstown as he drove to work. Later that month, shots were fired at Cross McGlenn Police Station in South Armagh. Just a few days later, Bessbrook Police Station was also targeted in a gun attack. And just a few weeks ago, a pipe bomb was thrown at Old Park Police Station in North Belfast. And now, Katie, the question is, where's next? Sharon O'Neill, UTV Live, in South Armagh.